Well, hello, hello, my beautiful people. My name is Gant, and welcome back to, you know what it is, Riddle Joker. Last time, Nanami was pissed at Satoru. He was mad, like super, super mad, that she started making go Goyoza. Goyoza? Go, goyoza. I don't, I don't remember how, how I said it, okay? I'm sorry, I have a sore throat, so, yeah. Anyway, she got mad, then... Satoru and Nanami made up because she was mad about like, It didn't make any advances to me. You'd think I was that same little girl as before. And you know how they made up? Doing the ink er ink er ink er ink er They told the dad um that they're together. And what else happened? Oh, they're planning a date at the school pool. And it's going to be a little awkward because everyone knows them as brother and sister. And now they're going to be like, you know what? Let's just be out and open about it. About us being together. And so, this is where we're at. So, without further ado, let us continue. Finally, the weekend arrives. I finished cleaning into my trunks, and now waiting for Nanami. There's relative few people here at the pool. I guess it's because of the season, like Koei said. Most of them seem to be groups of friends, actually, not couples. Good, I don't see anyone here we know. There are guys messing around in the water, but also girls too. Off in the distance, I can spot a few in some pretty sexy bikinis. I'll admit they're attractive, but the thing is, I prefer Nanami. And those siscon esque thoughts are swirling around my head. Nanami's finally coming out of the dressing room in her bikini. I'm here, Oni-chan! <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I have a real bad sore throat. I have a... I don't know if you can hear it. I have like a cough drop in my mouth to like soothe it. Because like it's for coughs and sore throats. So it's like a little bit better but <laughs> I don't sound good right now. I can hear my voice. It's more bassy in a way. If you get my drift. Ugh. Ah. Ah. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Cool. With a hint of bashfulness and cheeks blush, she positioned herself in front of me. Um. Oh my god. OMG. <laughs> uh, it's so strange. I've seen her in this bikini before. Moreover, even now, even now knows how she looks naked. Even though I know how she looks naked. So why? No, actually, maybe that's exactly why. My body's growing hot by the sight of her in her bikini. I'm memorizing by the stark contrast between the bold red of her swimsuit and the soft white of her skin. You're leering at me! Huh? Uh, oh, um, sorry. You're just too cute. You don't need to apologize for that. I was just caught off guard a little. Cause you didn't look at me the la like that the last- <laughs> Like this the last time we were at the pool. If you- If you're turned on- that's proof that I'm not just your little sister anymore, and that makes me really, really happy! <laughs> oh, I'm really turned on. You look incredibly hot. Th thanks I guess. Getting compliment on my looks is kind of embarrassing, though. I'm so happy about it. Um, well, that's enough talking. Let's have some fun. Watch out, here I come! I waste no time and jump right into the water. Satoru-kun, wait! You need to warm up first before you swim! Is that even a rule? I'm just gonna float around. It's still necessary. Fine, I'll do my stretches. I roll my shoulders, rotating my hips, and stretch my calves and ankles without getting out of the water. By the time I'm done, so is Nanami. Come on, hop in. Okay. She sits down at the pool's edge, puts her feet inside first, and then slowly gets into the water. I get to see her creamy white thighs, followed by her cute belly button, then those large tits of hers that just, that just out from her bikini, that juts out from her bikini, and finally her slender neck. It's all just so damn sexy. Hardly surprising considering a bikini is no different than a bra and panties. Uh, shit, this isn't good. I can't get horny in public in a public place. 
Well, you're in the water, so it's kind of- No, it's not covering. <laughs> because I'm just remembering how pools are clear. It's not like you go to the beach or anything. Uh, I want to go to the beach again. But I think I'm getting sick, man. My nose is really stuffy. My throat's fucking, like, uh. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this cop throat is really helping. Mm, you know what I mean? Like, it's really soothing. Like, my dad told me to put a cough drop. I'm like, eh, it's not gonna do anything, but it's really doing something. Like, hmm, you know what I mean? I can't get horny in public places. Everything okay, Satoru kid? Trying to fight my horniness right now, and it's a struggle. Is that because I'm wearing bikini? Yeah, what else could it be? Right. This really makes me realize you're no longer just my sister. Actually, in hindsight, I don't know how I managed to be unfazed when I looked at you before. You're just so sexy. Th there you go, saying silly stuff like that again. I mean it. I know. You don't flatter people unless you mean it. That's why I'm so happy. Thanks, Oni-chan. Hehe. <laughs> Hehe. <laughs> that smile on her face is just so cute. Damn, I might just get a heart on. Here? Gosh, you really- you're a real perv. I'm sorry, you're just so damn attractive. Oh, I swear. If you're gonna keep doing that, then take this! Whoa! None of me stop! Ah! <laughs> he puts her hands in the water- in the water and splashes it on my head. Feeling cooler now? Here, have some more! Her boobs jiggle each time she splashes water. How is that supposed to help me? It only makes things worse. If that's still not enough, then how about this? Uh! He suddenly leaps at me. She crashes into me and my body falls under the water. Follow after me. Nanami also submerges. Uh... We didn't share a kiss underwater. That's... <laughs> ah! That smarts on her? I had an inkling she was doing this for a reason, so that was her idea. If we kiss under water, no one should be able to notice. Mm. Even inside the water, I can vividly feel her lips. I feel guilty for kissing around others, but at the same time, it's so exhilarating. The thrill makes me want to keep going on forever. But naturally, my breath won't last. After reaching my limit, I gradually pry my lips and surface. Ah! <sighs> Nanami? Hmm? Is she still underwater? Does she even want me- Does she want me to dive back down? No, wait! What if she's drowning? Not a moment after that terrifying thought crosses my mind, I hear a splash of water from behind me. Whoa! I is that you, Nanami? Gotcha! <laughs> God, don't scare me like that. I seriously, I seriously started to fear you might be drowning. Sorry about that. As long as you're fine. So, did it work? Did what work? Well, you know what I mean. Did the calm, did the kiss calm you down some? Not in the slightest. You practically pour oil on the fire. That was pretty daring of me. Sure was, but I'm glad you decided to go to do it. Mm-hmm. Me too. <laughs> do you think someone saw us? Doesn't look like it. I look around, but no one seems to be focused on us. They probably just think we're having fun like everyone else here. Good. After that, she tightly latches herself onto my body and leans against me. Her large breasts get squished, and I can feel her heartbeat. Her heart's racing just as much as mine. Maybe she's clutching to my back to cover up her embarrassment. Your shoulders are really broad. Well, I'm a guy. And your skin is kinda hot. Because of that kiss. Also, just in case you aren't aware, your boobs are pressing up against me. Yeah, I know. I'm doing it on purpose. Wow. I didn't raise my little sister to be a hussy. I'm not a hussy. You're the only person in the whole wide world I do this to. 
A shiver runs down my spine as he whispers that into my ear. There's not a trace of that childlike innocence from mere minutes ago. What I heard was the bewitching voice of, of a sed seductress. It's seriously amazing what a few words can do to drastically change someone's impression. She's a girl, alright? Did that turn you on? What do you think? <laughs> I accept being a hussy, but you have to admit to be a horn dog. There has to be something seriously wrong with me if I didn't get horny for my girlfriend pressing her boobs against my back. Actually, you're trying to get me horny on purpose, aren't you? Um, I guess you caught me. It was pretty obvious. I just figured I would make you fall for me even harder so you can't live without me. Well, you're too late. I already can't live without you. But you're only talking about the housework stu and stuff, right? That's not what I meant. I want to make you so infatuated with me that you'll never get turned on by looking at other girls. Uh, you're a lot more precious than I paid you for. You're a lot more possessive than I than I paid you for. Do you not want to tie down on each other? No, I do. I've always, I'll always be your brother and your only boyfriend. Thanks. Though, I have to pass being tied up and in the literal sense. BDSM is not my thing. No, it is. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Let me talk about this. Because, uh, <laughs> it's not my thing. I'm sorry. BDSM? Like, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm like, what gets me? You know what I mean? Like, for a girl. Or, or anything sexual. We're gonna have this talk. Sit down. We're gonna have this talk. No, I don't wanna hear this talk. No, we're hearing this talk, okay? I like girls with glasses, mm, but she has to have a nice personality, you know, like cheerful and happy like me, like, <laughs> and, uh, like, I don't know, sexually, like, I think my, my limit is handcuffs and light slapping, light, nothing more than that, you know what I mean, but like BDSM, <laughs> my brother's into that shit, it's like, how can you be into that shit, like, I'm sorry, it's like, I, I can't. I can't. Okay, it's too much for me. If you don't what if you don't know what BDSM is, do not Google it. Do not. Or do it. Fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> that thought didn't even cross my mind. You really are a perv. And so I have an offer for this pervy little boy. Which is Wanna go under one what water one more time? Her bewitching voice echoes through my brain, rattling it to its core. The excessive se sexual, the extremely sensual, sensual tone causes my breath to get caught in my throat. And you accuse me of being a pervert. So do you want it, Oni Chan? Uh, instead of replying verbally, I chose, I chose to respond with action. I take a deep breath to ready myself in advance this time. Nani must have caught on. She also breathes in behind me, storing oxygen in her lungs. Once she's done, we've died down together. Mm. Mm. We twist, twist our bodies and kiss underwater. Unlike last time, though, this isn't a tongue kiss. We're just pressing our lips together, mouths closed. Even so, this kiss is just as exhilarating as all the French kisses we had. Our kisses last until our lungs have been completely depleted of oxygen. We continue to play and frolic around the on our pool date. To anyone watch, we probably just look like a pair of kids messing around. Little did they know, though, we were doing some pretty adult things in places they couldn't see, such as under, wa under the water. The time flew, time flew, and before we knew it, the sun was already setting. Is that anyone still here? Oh, Kakimoto sensei. Hmm, the Arahara siblings. It's time to close the pool. Huh? Is it already this late? Yes, it is. Take a look around you. Everyone has already left. I scanned the area. She's right. We're the only ones left, and we didn't even notice it. We're sorry. We'll leave at once. Yes, that would be appreciated. 
irritated. We got in trouble. <laughs> the way she smiles and giggles, it's so unbelievably cute. I had a blast today, Satoru-kun. Yep, I did too. That was the first time we'd done we'd gone to the pool to have fun. When I imagined a pool date, my only thought was, well, I hope it ended up being a nice date and nothing more. But I have to say, it was much more fulfilling as a date than I imagined. More so specifically, I'd say it was exhilarating. She's my sister, we've always been together, and I've gone shopping with her, just the two of us, countless times before. But doing something together as a couple makes all the difference. Or rather, you acted a lot more womanlike today than I expected you to. What's that supposed to mean? Was I not a woman to you before? Sorry, don't snap at me yet. I don't want- I don't want to- I just didn't word it that right. I was trying to say that I didn't think of you as a girl or that I thought of you as a boy or anything. That's what you meant by it. I've always- it was always kind of conscious of the- I was always conscious of the fact that you were younger than me. But all throughout our date today, you did some really crazy stuff. So it was really- it really made me realize that you're a mature, alluring woman in your own right. Don't you think it has more to do with you being too childish than anything- anything about me? I won't deny it. Wow, you actually admit it. Why should I get all defensive over it? I can't deny the truth. It's an undeniable truth. It was like putty- I was like putty in your hands today, and it was exciting. Thanks, Nanami. Huh? What? Why are you thinking me? For falling in love with a smuck like me. I would have really regretted if I didn't realize how charming you could be. You should consider yourself lucky that I'm your sister, Satoru-kun. Oh, I do. You don't need to go and affirm me. It was only said as a, that. I only said that as a joke. But I mean it. I know you do. <laughs> I'm also glad that I have you as a brother, as my brother. Thanks. You're welcome. Truth be told, my heart was racing too. Oh, was it? Yep, I hold you. I love you all. Ah, uh, fuck. Sorry, let me drink some water. Like I said, I had a sore throat today. Like, the cough drop is almost done. And like, my mouth just feels sticky. You know what I mean? Oh, fucking, oh my, mmm. I don't know what it is, like, it's like the mental, um, it's like mental, right? The cop drops, and like, just drinking water, it's just, mmm, like, instant chills, man. This is not even a cold water. It's like, when you have peppermint in your mouth. Is it peppermint flavor? No, it's honey flavor. So, it is all that weird, you know what I mean? <sighs> That's really good water, though. Mm. Yep, I love you a whole lot, a whole, whole lot. I love you too, Nanami. Let's go on a date again sometimes, Oni-chan. Mm-hmm, we definitely will. How's things been going lately? Oh, this voice fucking kills me. How's whipping going? You and Nanami-chan, you've been dating for a while now, yeah? Well, there's nothing much worth noting. Glad to hear things are going swimmingly for you. Yeah, our date at the pool ended up being really pretty nice. Thanks for the idea. Oh, was it? Glad I could help. We do pick her on occasions, and she also sometimes get pick picked peeved at me because of small misunderstandings. But honestly, that's how it always been. Those tiny things aren't going to impede on our relationship in any way. And it is precisely both because she and I are aware of this that we're able to completely open be completely be completely open with our feelings. Well, I wish you two all the best. Thanks. Well, um I wouldn't mind if you had a legitimate fight every now and then. 
I'd love to try some of those delicious gyoza again. I know I said it right the first time I, like, what was it, last episode? I just cannot pronounce it for whatever in my mind. Gyoza. 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 I don't, I don't know. I was gonna get some today on Uber Eats, but I don't want to spend money. I spent so much because um, I just got this room, what, last week? I spent on bed, this new desk, everything in this room that you cannot see. I spent about a thousand something. <laughs> and I maxed out, <laughs> no, I just... Well, I maxed out one credit card, but I paid it off because, you know, I have the money to... I had the money to pay it off. And now I'm broke again. <laughs> I think I went to my next paycheck, you know? But that's how you use credit cards, man. If you don't... If you don't have the money and you have a credit card, don't use it unless you, you know, have the money or you think you're gonna have the money, you know, to pay off that credit card, okay? Don't just use a credit card and be like, Oh, it's like free money! Blah, 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 blah! Monthly payments, I can do that! No, if you don't have the money to buy whatever it is, don't use it. Or be like, let's just say you get paid, you know, in two days, but you need something now. Then, yeah, use your credit card. But if not, don't use it. That's some tips from Gat. Yeah. <laughs> tips from Gat. Yeah. That'll be $5.99. <laughs> I'd love to try some of those delicious yozas again. That'll end up saving a few years off my life. So I'd like to avoid that. Thank you very much. Tch, oh well. But I'll tell Nanami you want to try them again. Thanks. Oh no. Just just glad to hear you. Uh, just. Oh no. Just glad to hear you like them. They're her goza. Yozas though. So I can't really talk big. Well, I'm gladly help if there's anything I can do. Morning classes fly by, and Lundspring is now here. Hey, Nanami. Oh, hi, Satoru-kun. Sorry, were you waiting long? No, not really. But who cares? Let's go have lunch. You're hungry, right? Yep. We're having lunch together pretty much every day lately. There are times when Mibu-san or Koei also tag along. But usually, it's just the two of us. We don't even actually ask the others to leave us alone or anything. They're doing it for our, on our on their own accord. What should we eat today? Hmm, how about dorm four? Looks good. Yep, mm, the food's here is so good. Definitely. But your cooking will always be the number one for me. Oh, you! Stop saying those kind of kind of things when other people are around us, you dummy! <laughs> the way she blushes despite grumbling at me is so cute. How many times have I had that exact same thought? Every little thing she does feels so much different now that she's my girlfriend and not my sister. But if you want me to, if you want me to, I guess I can cook for you again sometimes. Oh, that'll be nice. Thanks. You're welcome. My face loosens as I see that big smile on her face. When everyone sees us acting like this every day and after day, it's no surprise that rumors have started to pop up. Talks of us have made it into both of our classes. However, thankfully, there's no mention of incest. We owe that to the fact that Nijisan, Misakasa-san, Mayu-senpai, and Mibu-san and Kohei knows about us. They all made sure that no one st stigmatize us. They made sure that everyone knew we were only adopted siblings, not blood related. Considering they were both Astros and everyone knows what kind of troubles Astros had to deal with, no one has any doubts about us being adopted. Thanks to our wor wonderful friends, Nanami and I are able to relax and live our lives in peace. Uh... Hmm? What is it? Just thinking about how lucky we are. I feel the same way. <laughs> I give you every more happiness here. I'll give you even more happiness here. Open wide, Oni-chan. Not me. You're just trying to make me eat the celery you don't like again, aren't you? Mm. Oni-chan. Well, only because I love you. I open my mouth and eat the celery for her. 
How do you not like celery? I'm sorry. I'm just gonna say this out, okay? Like, don't get me wrong. Celery doesn't really have a good flavor. Like, put peanut butter on that bitch. And, like, maybe some raisins, nuts, or whatever the fuck you like. And, bam! Good food. How do you not like celery? How do you not like celery? <laughs> you know what? I can picture one of you commenting below, down below. I don't like celery. The, mm, how do you not like celery? Like, really. Go get celery. If you have it in your house, get it. If you don't, buy some. Put some peanut butter. Put raisins or nuts. Bam. Good food. Man, what was the last time I had celery, though? <laughs> I know I'm talking, like, mad shit right now, but when was the last time I had celery? Mmm. You know what? I actually don't remember how celery tastes. I haven't had that since I was, what? Seven? Yeah, seven. And, like, my dad took us to an after-school program because, I don't know, he just wanted us out of the house for a bit. So, you know, he could sleep. Because that's what my dad used to do. He would just sleep. He would either put us in after school or take us to the park so he could, you know, well, the park just to get us tired. And when we, literally, little kids are like dogs a little bit. Take them to the park, let them run around, and when they get back home, they're like, chill, and like, want to go to sleep. You know what I mean? That's what my dad did. Just to go get some sleep, he'll take us to the park, play with us a bit, then he'll go to sleep when we got back home. But yeah, I was in an after-school program, and like, I got peanut butter with raisins on the celery. Mmm! That was, shit was good. I open my mouth and eat the celery for him. Heh! <laughs> uh... A smug smile forms on her face that reads, Sucker- Sucker! In the past, that might have irked me. But the problem is, all I can think now is how cute she is. Th don't get upset at me! I'm sorry! I'm not upset. I'll make it up to you later. Okay. I tilt my head in puzzlement. Mm? I feel something something twinging around my leg. It almost like a snake or some tentacle coiling around me from both directions. I'm being caressed in a sexual way. Not in me. What are you? Hmm? Huh? What is it? She feigns ignorance and smiles, but doesn't... Stop caressing me with her legs. Skillfully using her toes, she gently slips her feet up my shin and calf, stimulating my lower body. Of course though, she doesn't actually go for my crotch. She strokes the area beneath my knee with the soft with soft movements. It's not a strong stimulant by any mean, but there's something really thrilling about having her play footsie with me under the table in a public place. I don't think this is the right place for that. I know you like it. Well, yeah, but that's the problem. I don't want her flipping my switch now. I mean, we still have half a day of school left. You're giving me a real dirty look right now, you dirty boy. Speak for yourself. Yeah, I guess I'm a dirty girl now. All because of you. <laughs> uh... So, I'll make it up to you later. In the bedroom, Oni Chan. She flashes a seductive smile at me. It's the complete opposite of the, of the innocent smile I always see her make. I never thought she could pull off this kind of vibe. I mean, she's younger than me, but I have to admit, she really does have a lot of sex appeal. Just the sight of that smile is nearly enough to make my heartbeat rise like a runaway train. With pleasure. You're such a dirty boy. She derails me almost hap almost happily as she looks at me with, with moist eyes. So, about later today. Uh her leg continues to la la last viciously stroke me. The sensation almost makes my breath stop, but unfortunately, I have to keep my desires in check for now. Nanami herself likely knows that too. She releases my leg from her embrace and quickly shifts back to a serious meme. Meme. Meme? Meme. I don't know what the fuck that means. Meme. Memes. Memes. To a serious memes. <laughs> Any chains and plans? Nope. Not that I've been informed of. Alright. I have everything ready. 
Mm hmm. I would love nothing more than to give into temptation, but sadly, we have work today, so that's not happening. Especially since the SFD reputation is on the line this time. <clears throat> we finally found their location for sure this time. They won't catch us in another another one of their traps, no matter what. I feel like you're going to jinx it if you say that. I realize why you might think that, but we have good reason to believe as such. Alright then. So, where are they? They really pulled a fast one on us. They were actually hiding close to that warehouse. On top of that, they prepared a number of additional dummy hiding places like the ones we fell for. Interesting. We'll head over there tonight then. Yeah, join up with the other agents on site alongside Levy 9. We'll launch our, our strike at 0, 100, 0 100. <laughs> If you don't know what that is, that's 12 a.m. Alright, we'll be prepared. This is pretty sudden though. They'll slip away again if we dwaddle for too long. We need to nab them before that happens. <clears throat> oh, fuck, that really hurt. We've done all our prior investigations and preparations. All that's left is to strike. I'll send you the details on the operation that the same way as always. Make sure you get you go to you go over them. Yes, sir. Failure is not an option for tonight's mission. We have to keep ourselves focused now, or else it will hurt us later. Getting into the right mindset before the mission is critical important is critically important. On her count, I jump over the academy's walls with her in my arms, and then swiftly move out of the camera's weight range. We utilize our, our uniform stealth function, so don't need to worry about being getting seen. Even so, I check our surroundings just as a precaution. Great, coast clear. We're good. How's the security looking? No sign that they picked up on us. Okay, getting rid of all traces. There, we're good to go. All right, let's get going then. Let me six reporting. We're en route to rendezvous to the rendezvous point. <clears throat> McGregor, copy that. There are no changes to the operation. Let me six move to the rendezvous point. Let me nine please proceed to join the mission control team. Let me six Roger that. Let me nine Roger that. All right, I'll see you later. Be careful, Oni Chan. I'm Levy 6 now. Mm, fuck up. Come on, don't soak on me. Alright, I'll be careful. So make sure you do a good job supporting me so I'll get out unscathed. I know, but you seriously need to be careful, Onichan. Don't worry, I won't let them get a single scratch on me. Mm. It's almost time. It's 23.58. Currently, two minutes live until midnight strikes. We won't let these bastards escape this time. Activating my ability, I survey the area with my sharpened senses. Uh, anything strange or unnatural? Levy six reporting. Nothing to know. All right. Does anyone else have anything to report? None respond to the chief to the chief's question. Nothing that might impede the mission, I assume. All right. We'll continue as planned. This time, we won't let them get away. Your goal should be to take out the targets before they have any time to react. McGregor to all. Commencing operation. 10. 9. Just like last time, a countdown starts. But today, things will be different. Everyone understands how, imp how imperative this would it is that we succeed. As such, every member pre pre present waits for the mark with bated breath. And finally, two, one, go! The moment we receive the go ahead, we get moving. Uh, there are people inside. Having confirmed that, I deactivate my ability. Then, I heal my ears and my eyes and ears. Not a moment later, a loud explosion rings out a white flash blind. <laughs> as a white flash blinds my vision. It's a stun grenade that was hurled inside. 
Payback for what they did to us last time, you might say. Ah! Ah! The unforeseen impact causes the men in the warehouse to fall to their knees and groan. A second later, SFD agents storm the building. They quickly tie up the immobili immobilized men. Once the sound flash from the stun grenade subsi subsides, I reactivate my ability and scan the inside of the warehouse. No sign of a trap. <clears throat> Levy 5 reporting in. Two targets have been successfully apprehended. Levy 6. None, no signs of explosions. Copy that. Levy 5 and the rest of the right team proceed to take the targets and pull out. A van is waiting outside. Roger that. Levy 6 and the rest of the support team proceed to receive everything the targets have left behind. Roger that. Alright, I suppose that concludes this mission. It's not over yet. Don't let your guards down, or they could escape. Likewise to you. Don't overlook something important that could come back to bite us later. Of course. Leaving the two of us to Levy 5 and her team. Oh, it's a girl. <laughs> Leaving the two targets to Levy 5 and her team, I begin to scour the warehouse together with my own team. We must receive absolutely everything here that has connection with our targets. It's no small area to search, but fortunately, it's relatively empty. As I go around searching for things, I eventually find something that's rather conspicuous. A bag that was hidden in a gap between a shelf and a wall. Doesn't seem dangerous at least. The raid went smoothly and we captured both targets. Mm. Having this be a trap would serve no purpose. I carefully pulled the bag out. Hmm? It's heavier than I imagined. That said, the item inside doesn't seem to be explosives or other weapons. If it's something smallest, it's a somewhat smallest gym bag. I carefully pulled down the zipper and find... Money? The bag is filled with stacks of money. And curiously enough, they're dollar bills, not yen bills. What the hell? There's so damn much. I can't even count the numbers of stacks at, at glance. And they're all made up of hundreds, hundred, a $100 bills. It's not at least... It has to be at least 20. Perhaps even 50. They're all crudely stuffed inside. Is this their money? Why do they even have this much? I mean, the organization as a whole could easily have this much at their disposal. But why would they leave it in the hand of these lackeys? It just doesn't add up. Being a secret organization myself, I'm barely familiar with how these hierarchies work. The amount isn't even the strangest thing though. It's all in foreign currency. That surely won't keep us keep their funds in US dollars to, domest <clears throat> to do domestic operations. Just the fact that they have foreign currency isn't strange and of itself. But with such a large sum, there's definitely something going on here. McGregor to support team. The police are on move because of the stun grenades we used. Pull out from the warehouse within 5 minutes. I have to save those questions for later. Levy 6, reporting in. I discovered an item of concern. After I finished my report, I received the order to bring the bag in for further inspection. Money bag in hand, I erase our traces within the warehouse and then quickly leave. Good job. Now we've been able to save face. So that means... We've been able to capture the targets. It's highly unlikely our organization will get closed down. However, we aren't quite finished with everything. Are you referring to the money? Well, it's nothing you, you need to get worried about. Well... We'll question those guys and get them to tell us what's going on. You two should return now. You got school tomorrow, right? Hurry on back and get some sleep. Yes, sir. Once again, good job. Get yourself a nice rest tonight. There we go. After returning to Nanami's room with her arms in my with her in my arms, I look out the window and check the surroundings. Doesn't seem like anyone's seen us. How's the security looking? Ah, oh, kid. We weren't detected. Perfect. You did, it gr you did great today. You too. You didn't get hurt or anything, did you? Nope. As long as you probably know, we took them out in the blink of an eye. They didn't even have time to attack me. Yeah, I know. But I'm your 
girlfriend, so I just gotta make sure. Saying that, he begins to gently touch my body in various places. Any place that hurts? Nope. Well, maybe my lower regions? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What about here? Or there? Oh, wait, don't! D does it hurt? No, it tickles. Gosh, don't scare me like that! Sorry. Either way, you're worrying over nothing. I'm telling you, I really didn't get hurt. I understand on a cognitive level, but I just can't stop myself from worrying. She places her hand on my chest, as if she's directly checking my heartbeat. Last time you said that thing, things were alright, and then you got caught up in that explosion. I was on edge this whole time today. I was just worried that something was going to happen to you again. Uh... Right. I have to remember, that explosion was the final push that made Nanami confess her feelings to me. I can hardly blame her for getting anxious again. Plus, we're a couple now. That would only amplify her concerns. If our roles were swapped and she was the one to charge in there, just imagine just imagining it would, would it fills with dread. Since I know I'm fine, it's easy for me to call her concerns silly. But what I'm really doing is riding over her feelings. Sorry, Nanami. Not only did I worry her, I invalidate her fears by only looking at the situation from my perspective. To make up for that, I gently embrace her. Don't worry, I'm alright. Didn't even get a single scratch on me. Oh yeah, I know. This is a warp I know and love. See? You can tell what I'm holding when I'm holding you like this, can you? Mm. No, it's not enough. I need you to... Let me feel your warmth more. Mm. She looks up at me with moist eyes. Naturally, I'm not stupid. I understand full well what she's getting at. Earlier today during lunch break, she also rubbed my leg. And that lust she stirred up inside me back then is still sm smothering within my chest. Not me. Mm. Owning Chan. She slowly closes her eyes and presses her lips, and I press my lips on her. Okay, I'm gonna end it there. It's a good place to end it for now, you know? And I didn't make this video earlier. Like last time, I made the video like what, 11? Like, you know what I mean? Right now it's like 1.38 and I still gotta edit. So I'm gonna end it here. Dude, I'm so excited. I'm getting everything ready for, what, what did I say, three weeks? No, let's make it two when I start streaming. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! I'm getting everything ready, you know? I'm gonna start streaming in three weeks. No, two weeks. Can you imagine that? Two weeks. I'm gonna be streaming. I'm gonna be talking to you guys and like letting you know how I feel and like what happened today and ah. Uh, every time I make these videos, I want to just let you know how I'm feeling, what I did today, all the amazing things I did, you know? But no, like I have to be concerned, you know, with making the video and everything. With like, you know, talk, just this. But with streaming, I think I could just talk to you guys with no problems. Don't get me wrong, I'll still do these videos, but I just want to have a conversation with you. Okay, that's enough rambling for now because ah, <laughs> I gotta edit. Ah. Alrighty, if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification to see whenever I post, and leave a comment. Alrighty, my beautiful people, my beautiful weebs, my beautiful jokers. <laughs> From Persona 5. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna end there. Okay. Well, this is Gatsane. Farewell. And as always. Uh, 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 fuck. Oh, wait, that hurt. That hurt like a bitch. Oh, fuck. That hurt. And as, uh, and as always.